Hey guys, so I have an interesting uh, question here. It's a puzzle, and it's used a lot in interviews. And the scenario goes like this. You have eight basketballs in a weighing scale. They look and feel exactly the same, but one of the balls weighs less than the others. And then the question is, what is the least number of times you can use a balancing scale to find the light ball? And so to kind of write this out as, as a, a picture, uh, more visual, I have a scale here the normal balance scale where you can put something on one side and the other side tips up. And I have our eight basketballs below or attempts to look like basketballs. And we want to know what is the least number of times you can use a balancing scale uh, to find the light ball. And uh, so let's go ahead and work this out. So most people, um, don't know, but I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is two. But I'm going to show this. So uh, most people usually will come up with a solution like this, where you put one ball here, put one ball here, and one of them are going to weigh less than the other. And so we want to know, you know, suppose we pick the uh, lightest ball last, how many times is this right here, or how many times do we have to weigh these two balls? So I'm going to write here a column called left for the number of balls that we have left after weighing and how many times we use the scale or the weighings. Okay? So let's start off here. So say we pick one, say we pick this ball and this ball. So you put one here and you put one ball here and they're the same. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six balls left, and we just finished one weighing, right? Because we weighed the two balls. So now we go back to our pile here and we pick our next two balls, this one here and this one here. And we put one here and put another ball here. And they weigh the same. So now we have one, two, three, four balls left. And that was our second weighing. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to pick these two balls, put one ball here, put one ball here. We see that they weigh the same. So we have two balls left, one, two. So that's why I put that two there. And that was our third weighing. And then we get these two balls. And of course, one of these have to be it. Um, so we put one ball here, one ball here. And uh, one of them weighs less than the other. So we have zero balls left. And that was our fourth weighing. So that's one method of doing it. But again, that doesn't give us that number two. So uh, there's obviously a more efficient way uh, to do this. And so let's try a, a different method. Okay, so now another method would be to take half of the balls and split them up. So I put four of the balls here. So these four, one, two, three, four, are gonna go over here. And these four, one, two, three, four, are gonna go over here. And one of them are gonna weigh less than the other. So uh, we're gonna throw out four of the balls, the ones that are heaviest, right? So let's say one of these side, let's say this one's heaviest, right? So now we have four balls left, and that was one weighing. And we're going to split these four balls into two each. I'm going to put two balls here and two balls here. And then two of these balls are going to weigh more than two of the other balls, right? So let's take one out. We have two balls left. And that was our second weighing. And now we're going to split these two balls because one of them are obviously the uh, lighter ball. And so one of these are going to be lighter. Maybe it's this one. Uh, maybe it's this one here to the right, right? So either way, we have zero balls left, and we only had three wings. Okay. But again, that doesn't give us our number two. So again, there's a more efficient way. And that one right there is pretty good. That's a divide and conquer uh, way of figuring this solution out. Now, let's try this. Let's take six of the balls. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and let's split them up. Three and three. So that means we have two balls uh, that we're not weighing right now. And we can see that one of these, uh, or let's say that this is equal. So if this is equal, then we can take, we get rid of these six balls. And we have two balls left. That was one way. So now we know that's one of these two, right? So we put one of the balls here and one of the balls here. And one of them we're going to weigh um, more than the other. Like it's a zero balls left. And we have our second weighing. Ah, so that gives us our two. But wait, you say, well, what if they, what if the first six that we measured were not equal, right? So let's go back and let's measure the first three again. I mean, the first six, uh, three on each side. And now instead of us saying that, that these balls are equal, let's say that they're different. And so now if these balls are different, then we know that the last two balls we have left over, these two here, must be the same because our one lighter ball is in one of these uh, three piles, piles. So erase this here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away three of them. And that leaves us with three balls left and we did one way. Now let's split these three balls into uh, one over here and one over here. And let's leave one off of the scale. So that gives us one, two, three balls. And now let's say that these two are equal. Then we know that it's this ball here. So if these two are equal, we have one ball left and we know the answer, two wings. But now suppose these two are not equal then one of them weighs more, oh, we still have this one ball here. Then we know that one of them weighs more than the other, and then we also know our answer. So that's also in only two wings. And so that's it. Um, there's lots of uh, high-tech companies that will ask this question, and this is the best solution, uh, two wings. And the trick is having that ball left out so thank you guys and please subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video